Hey guys, this is Andy Waters uh, with Linko Precision and wanted to make this video probably a little late in the life cycle of a CFX 750 as this is January of 2021 and they actually don't sell, Trimble doesn't sell the, uh, the new CFX 750 anymore. But I still have a lot, of, uh, a lot of growers out there using the CFX 750 or essentially an FM 750, which is Case's branded version of the same display, same user interface. So those two terms are uh, commonly used the same. But uh, one of the most common questions I get is, and this is for those, uh, those growers that will have a planting tractor with a CFX 750, and let's say the planting tractor is on the grain cart in the fall. They don't use steering on the grain cart, so they'll put the 750 uh, monitor into the combine and have steering on the combine in the fall. So instead of having to recalibrate every single time, um, what you can do is basically create a configuration for one tr for the planting tractor and then create a configuration for the combine and then switch those back and forth whenever you're you know using the applicable, applicable uh, vehicle. So the common question I get in the spring is somebody will start up and, and something won't be working right. And I guess the scenario is that the unit was in the combine. All they did was plug it into the tractor and turn it on, try to use it. And all the settings were for the combine still, but they're trying to use it in the tractor. So that's why the problem exists. So the simplest thing um, to get to uh, where your configuration page is if you hit the settings button and then go to system in the bottom right, advanced, and then save load configurations. It gives you three options. Um, there's load a configuration, save current configuration, or delete a configuration. And they're all pretty self-explanatory. Um, load a configuration is going to be if I want to, you know, if I've got multiple, multiple uh, vehicles in there, that's where I can load. For this example, an S660 corn head uh, configuration or an MX235 Kinsey corn planter um, configuration. So that's where I would go in and load. I'm going to back out of here and go into save current configuration. And if I wanted to save a configuration of something in there, I could save an internal memory. If I had a USB plugged in, I could save it to the USB. Um, and then I could name it there, which we will do, and then delete a configuration where if one of these configurations I did not want, what I could do is go in there and delete that um, so it's no longer in storage. So right now, and I guess one easy way to tell is um, in this situation is if we go to settings and vehicle, um, and I'll get a vehicle set up, it shows combine. So right now we are on that John Deere um, S660 corn head configuration. So these are my settings here for um, for the combine and then further in I've got an easy steer to this so further in will be my uh, you know my aggressiveness settings for the combine um, my roll offset angle of the terrain compensation box for the combine so this is just going to be some of those things some of those settings specific to that combine one other thing is um, if, if you noticed when I had load config up, it was S660 corn. Um, if I go to field and I'm just going to look at my implement setup, it says I have a 20 foot implement in here, which in this situation is gonna be an eight row corn head. Let's say that we wanted to have a bean head in here. I could change this implement width to let's say it was a let's say it was a uh, 35 foot draper. I'd go ahead and change it to 34 foot and nine inches for you know just for some overlap. So I'll change it to a a, a bean head. Um, I'd get the measurements to the forward back offset. So let's say it goes 160 inches um, from the antenna to where the cutting point on that uh, on that draper head is. And so those are two things that I'm going to change. What I can do is go back to our settings and then system, advanced, and save load configurations. And I already have the S660 corn head, which was our 20 foot width and all of our steering settings. I already have that saved. So what I can go ahead and do is 
save a new configuration to our um, to our configuration page, and I'll call it JDS660, and I'll put in there soybeans. And so then you're going to have a, uh, one thing to note here is you're going to have a timetable um, that's basically or an hourglass that's saving it. And so these are listed um, in alphabetical order. So even though it shows that it'll probably show the JDS660 corn head's going to be first, that does not mean that's the one selected. It's just alphabetical order, so um, there's some sort of memory aspect there to tell you whether it's selected or not. So now, if we just want to go look, we've got JD corn head and soybeans, and then we've got that Kinsey corn, um, the MX235 Kinsey corn. So I guess just to show you, right here are implement setups, 34 foot, 9 inches, and we have that 160 foot forward offset to the platform. So what I'm going to do is go into settings, system, advanced, save load configurations, and I am just going to load a configuration. I'm going to load the corn head just to show you the difference between, um, between those two. So loading it's still going to show the hourglass. So that's one thing, and if we load a different config, I'll show you more. Um, but now if we go all the way back to our field tab, and go through our field. The What I changed basically by changing that configuration is now I've got a 20 foot implement width for my eight row corn head and it's only 114 inches forward. Um, so that's how essentially you can save different, um, different implements on the CFX 750. I'm gonna go back into settings, system, advanced, save load configurations this time I'm actually going to load the MX 235 corn and so another common question I get is so I'm gonna go down select this load that configuration it says you're about to replace current settings um, with this correct uh, configuration file and you'll accept that as long as you already have all the settings you've changed so you'll notice I have this green one selected we've got the hourglass rolling and once this saves, you'll notice um, you'll notice it goes back to this page. But if I go to load, that one's still the top one. The uh, corn head is the top one. So a lot of people sometimes think, well, I don't think it took because my corn head was the top one. It did. It's just alpha, uh, you know, alphabetical there. So if we go back into our vehicle. Um, we can go here, we can go to vehicle setup, and there I have my tractor configuration, um, which I had saved the year before. And I've got the uh, roll offset for that particular tractor. So I've got basically all the settings that I saved from that tractor in there. So what we can do again is go to field and uh, finish working with field. No, that's fine, we'll add one. It's got a 40 foot implement width in there which is going to be our 40 foot planner and then it's got our forward back offset. Let's say that this Kinsey um, is a split row planner. So when we're planting corn it's 16 rows and we're planting corn it's 40 foot. When we're planting beans it is uh, 38 foot and 9 inches actually for our 15 row or 15 inch offset. Um, the other thing you can do with different implements, which we'll just use in this situation, let's say this planter has a one inch right offset only when it's using beans, or only when we're planting beans. So we're going to put a 30 foot, 38 foot, 9 inch implement width in there with a one and a half inch, or I'm sorry, a one inch right offset. So we're going to save that stuff. Um, let's say we've ran this this system with the with the bean planter we're happy with the way it performs we want to save this configuration we can again go into settings system advanced save load configuration we'll save current configuration um, we have the MX 235 Kinsey planter corn we're gonna change it to MX 235 uh, um, Kinsey 
Yep, it's like spell, right? Kinsey Beans. And then we've got our hourglass again. So essentially, when I have the settings in this tractor and I'm planting corn um, with my 40 foot implement width, and we'll say in this example, no left right offset, uh, all those settings are saved in there. Then when I get ready to plant beans, all I have to do is go into settings, system, advanced, state, save load configurations, and then load a configuration to my. Uh, MX-235 Kinsey Soybeans config and then I'm ready to go. The other thing to keep in mind is um, let's say that I'm planning through, uh, through the season and I'm not quite happy with my one inch right offset. I think it should be two inches. So I go in and it's already adjusted we'll say to two inches right. Um, we're, we're, that's a much better offset for this situation so we're going to keep it two inches right and one thing you'll want to remember to do after you do that is go in and save that configuration over so right now if we were to go in and load that Kinsey soybean configuration it would just be a one inch right offset we want it to be two inches so we'd go same thing settings system advanced save load configs save current and so right now we're on that Kinsey Bean configuration. I want to just go ahead, hit that Kinsey Bean configuration, hit our check, and then the one thing it's going to overwrite in there is change that one inch right offset to a two inch right offset. Um, many of your other things are saved in here as well. For example, let's say you ran a three month Omnistar subscription for Planner um, in the spring, but then you just ran WAS on the Combine in the fall. If you saved the MX-235 either corn or bean config with that Omnistar correction type and the Omnistar settings, every time you went there it would try and use Omnistar. Where on the combine if you just ran WAS um, because your three months expired of Omnistar, it would just, you would have the settings already saved in there to run the WAS configuration. Um, so all of that stuff, if you maybe have boundaries disabled in the combine but you have them enabled in the planner, those are all saved. Basically anything we change on any of these six tabs here, um, for example what I was talking about, vehicle detection, or I'm sorry, vehicle di uh, direction detection enabled or disabled, or boundaries disabled or enabled for example, anything you change in there and save it under that configuration will save. Um, the other thing to kind of keep organization, I have some people that when they save a configuration they'll save it with the date. Um, let's say that we are getting rid of our S660 combine and we're, doing an, we're getting a new uh, S670 for example. What you can do to go keep that stuff clean is if we go in to delete a configuration we can delete our 660 corn head, which we'll go ahead and do right now. And it's a much quicker process there. And we'll delete our six, uh, S660 soybean head. And then that's out of there. So now the only configurations we have are MX235 corn and beans. And then once we get the system installed on our S670 and do the calibrations and whatnot, we'll set up a head for corn and we'll set up a head for beans. Um, so hopefully this helped you out.